Hello viewers, welcome back to our today's class. And the topic of discussion is the contribution of uh, lives of uh, Kenyan leaders. And we have already looked at a number of uh, leaders. We started with Jomo Kenyatta. We went to Daniel Moy, who was the second president. We went to Jaramogi Oginga, the, fa the father of uh, opposition politics. And also now today, we'll get to Joseph Thomas Mboya. Now we get to look at his early life and also his contribution to the Kenyan politics. Welcome all and let us learn. Your teacher is Roger Michira and the, lesson you, and the, the, the channel you're watching is Elimu TV. Now class, what do we expect at the end of the lesson? We need to give an outline, a detailed account of the political career of Thomas Joseph Mboya. Now welcome all and let us learn. Now Joseph Thomas Mboya was born in the year 1930 in Kilimanjaro, Machakos County. Now one thing again we, no, we need to notice about 1930, this is when um, we had settler farming, right? This led to his father to work in a, 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 CISO, a CISO farm. Now that is Joseph Thomas Mboya and he was one of the elite uh, the, the elite people we had in the Kenyan politics, right? The early, 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 early political, political lives we had of, uh, of Thomas Mboya. He was one of the elites in, uh, in those group. Then again, we get to know that Thomas Mboya always associated himself with Muse Jomo Kenyatta because he was an elite, right? He was educated, he was learned. That is why you see in the second image, Thomas Mboya is always close to Muse Jomo Kenyatta. Now, in the year 1953, right, we had the Kenya Local Government Workers Union, which was formed by Thomas Mboya, and he was elected the uh, and he was elected his uh, national general chairman. That is the year 1953. Now you get to see the Kenya Local Government Workers Union was here to defend the rights, right, of the workers, right, the working conditions of the of the, of the Kenyan workers. That is when Thomas Joseph Mboya was elected as the chairman of the Kenya Local Government Workers Union, the National General Chairman. And again, one thing we get notes about Mboya, he involved himself in, uh, in protests, right? When, when uh, the, the in, this day in 1952, 1953, 1954, this is when we had the massive, uh, massive, massive arrests, right? Always Mboya protested the massive uh, arrest of the people and again he campaigned for the release of the detained unions, unionist and other political leaders as a result some were released talk of uh, Ronald Ingala Ronald Ingala was also um, Ronald Ingala was also a, a unionist leader right he was arrested and Thomas Joseph Mboya was against this of the detention and this led to a number of these unions union leaders being released now in the year 1965 and 1956, uh, Thomas Mboya attended the Ruskin College, Oxford uh, in Britain. He took a course in uh, industrial relations. I told you earlier that Thomas Joseph Mboya always involved himself in labor issues, right? Labor related issues. Now, this is because he had, uh, he had done a course in, in, in the Oxford, uh, Ruskin College in Oxford of industrial relations. You can get to see that. That is a uh, Ruskin College, Oxford. It is in Britain, right? And we can see Thomas Thomas Mboya, right? Those are the one of the one of the college mates of uh, Thomas Mboya, where, whereby we had uh, there is a Ruskid who was uh, also a Briton, who was their lecturer in uh, in the Ruskin College, and he was also the principal. Now, from college, he returned in 1956, whereby he stood a chance to be elected in the LEGICO. Now, Thomas Joseph Mboya, we had uh, Bihe Ohanga, we had uh, Jaramogi Oginga Odinga. These are the people who were first elected to the LEGICO in 1956, and they represented Kenya in the IMO, the African Elected Members Organization in the LEGICO, right? That is, that is, that is, uh, that is uh, Joseph Thomas Mboya in the LEGICO, and I've told you, in the LEGICO, he went with uh, Bihe Ohanga, it was with um, Mze Jaramogi Oginga Odinga and Thomas Joseph Mboya. These are the people who represented Kenya in the LEGICO. And again, in 1957, uh, Mboya formed the National People's Convention Party, right, whereby he became the president. And primarily his most uh, contribution in Kenyan politics, it was in labor-related issues, the issue of working conditions, the issue of uh, better pay of the workers. Now, in 1958, again, 
Thomas Mboya was elected to the International Conference of Free Trade Union, that is ICFTU. He was elected in the executive board of ICFTU, the International Conference of Free Trade Organization. Now, as, as you get to see, uh, Thomas Mboya has not joined any political party, right? The only thing he has joined are, are, are labor uh, related organizations, right? He's joining trade unions because he was more concerned, he was more concerned of uh, labor related issues. Now when K Kenya African Union, that is K KAU, officials were arrested, Mboya was elected as an acting treasurer of the party. But again, he protested against the restriction of Africans to grow cash crops. Remember, Africans were compelled, right? Africans were forced to grow cash crops. And remember, the Africans preferred uh, food crops to cash crops. But again, he protested the, 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 the compulsory growing of cash crops. And in the year 1960, when Kano was formed, Mboya was elected the Secretary General, a post he held until his death in 1959. He was among those who demanded the release of Jomo Kenyatta. And again, some of these deaths of... Uh, of, uh, of Ngala, of, uh, of uh, Thomas Mboya, it is alluded to as a nation, right? Talk of uh, Gamma Pinto, P Pinto was an MP, it is alluded to as a nation. Now we have close, uh, we have uh, detailed looked at uh, his political contributions and his labor, uh, sorry, the labor, labor, labor contributions of Thomas Joseph Mboya. And one significant thing we have looked at jo uh, Thomas Mboya is that he was a leading unionist. Right, he was a leading labor unionist. He always contributed in labor-related issues. Now, class, can you get to try this assignment? What are some of the contributions of uh, Thomas Mboya uh, in labor? Right, in labor. Remember, he did not involve himself mostly in politics. Right. Now, the contribution you are going to give should be labor-related contributions. And for reference, get to, to refer to evolve the world history and government for, for 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 more video lessons get to uh, keep in touch with us uh, uh, lmu tv whereby you get to watch via uh, youtube and always learn to when you watch subscribe to our channel lmu tv send your feedback for, via sms and also facebook page and also twitter at lmu tv underscore kenya thank you all and let us see you in the next class